Anyways, today's topic is about obedience to parents. I want something Kurdish, like Dijle. DJ, are you ready to roll? Get a bit of kid, a bit of a bit of a kid, a bit of bad boy. Follow me, follow me, Zisha, follow me. So, brothers and sisters, we are here in what's this place called? Uh, Turkish. Sorry, Kurdish. <laughs> We're in Dijle, brothers and sisters, in Where? Dijle Road. Dijle. Dijle. Yeah, I think Dijle means that. I think Dijle is a place in Kurdistan, if I'm not mistaken. Really? But we'll double check that, okay. inshallah. So we are here, our uh, menus have been put in front of us in a way where it's a menu and also at the same time it's, you know... It's with, a digile. Yeah, it's, it's like a... a digile. Yes. Anyways, how do you find the menu? I think the menu is very exciting. Um, yeah, it's, it's very colorful. Clear. It's got the dishes, which is very important. I love seeing what yeah. my food looks like. Brilliant. Fantastic. Yeah, because if I don't know, if you're new to this place and you don't know what it is, it's yes. good to have an image. So you've got it the starters. It is pixelated though, I must it is. say. I think I would need yeah. to uh, journey back to the dial-up days. Uh, <laughs> yes. so. so the stars are here, the breakfast here. Main dish, grilled food, sandwich, Swedish Swedish pizza. All right, interesting. Set menu, it's clear. I think it's clear. Kids menu. All right, Ali. So Z Zishan, we only have one kids menu for you, so you can't order anything else. Yeah? Okay, oh. so, yes, I think that's impressive. Okay. Are you uh, going to get the pachi? Or the right. dolma? No. Pachi. Okay. What about the bagle balde? <laughs> <laughs> Bagley balding. No, that's breakfast. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here, cozy. You know what cozy means? You know if I feel a bit cozy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, here they're known for their stews. So it's the pig. what? Stew. Stew. Pig. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's order. So, 10 chicken wings, tashrib, lamb cozy. With two things and one extra. No, no, no. Him uh, neck, neck, okay. neck, and drinks, drinks. Yes, drink. Yeah. What, what drink? Oranges. Did you do oranges? Yeah. One fresh orange juice and. What are you getting? I'm gonna get water. You can get oranges as well. Is it like fresh? Yeah. It's not fresh. It's, it's fresh oranges. Fresh, it's fresh. Are you squeezed? Yeah. Yeah, fresh. Don't ever talk like that in this restaurant again. Yeah. Okay. You shut your mouth. Two oranges, one water, sister. Anyways, today's topic is about obedience to parents. Yeah. Because we know Allah says in the Quran, after He tells us to worship Him, to be obedient to the parents. Yeah. Have you ever read the book Al Adab Al Mufrad by Imam Bukhari? Very interesting book, and I think a lot of people should read this because not only does it teach you the etiquette of how to be a student of knowledge, and that's the reason we have this chaos in today's time because people don't have the adab and the etiquette of how to seek knowledge. But in that book, it tells you in a specific chapter about um, your parents. So what it says is, for example, when you're not to sit before your dad sitting down, not to call your dad by his name. Yeah, I find it shocking. I never thought anyone would call their parents by their name, but I came across individuals that I have, like literally they call their like. If their dad's name is Ahmed, hey Ahmed. Ahmed. It's, it's actually disrespectful. Not only that, Imam Bukhari even mentions that when you're walking, you walk behind your dad or next to him, but you never walk in front of him. Yeah? So these things are just that, and we know the rights of the mothers as well. Yeah? How do you see do society? We? Well, of course, the, 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 the hadith of the Prophet, uh, even it's weak, but there's other things as well about Jannah being under the feet of your mother. Yeah. But the thing is here, where do you think as a generation we're going? Because when you become disrespectful to your parents, that in tail return, it, it comes at a consequence of a larger community because now you if you're going to be respectful to the elderly man in the road if you're not respectful to your mom and dad who's given birth to you how do you think you're going to treat an elderly man that you see in a bus or on the road it's a very good point it has an up and effect in it 100 percent. and you know what's really scary bro yeah it's the fact that it's one of the signs of the judgment is it that people will become disobedient to their parents well so we don't we obviously don't want to be part of that that sign and we yes. don't want to be included in that but the other thing that you mentioned is the knock-on effects I think it was Hassan al-Basi he said that when I disobeyed Allah yeah. I saw that the, my dependents started disobeying me to such a degree that even the mount even the, the uh, ride the that salaf, I was the salaf would say that yeah. the sense that they would see the ripple effect on their wives or their yeah. uh, animals exactly. or stuff and, and that, that is so true it's as if Allah is saying that look you're being disobedient to me yeah. let's see how you like it so the 
food came in about, I would say, 15 minutes. Ah. Yeah? So what we're going to do now, Zishan, we want you to try. Because you are the taster, man. The freshly squeezed orange juice is very nice. Yeah? Let me try it. Let me try it. It's got pulp in it, bits in it. It's really nice. Very it's very, nice. very refreshing. Okay. All right. So this is beans, yeah? It's like... It's not baked beans. Yeah, it just looks like Heinz. It, it does, but it's, it's, it's healthier. It doesn't have all those body chemicals in it. it. Smells like it as well. It's nice, yeah. Yeah. It is very similar to the yeah. to the Heinz one, yeah, but, but you said it's healthier. It's much healthier. 100%. So the fact that they match the taste with that, yes, is brilliant. Yes. Um, hopefully later on you'll be letting a lot of gas out. I want you to try this because uh, later. Yeah. That implies I'm not doing so <laughs> as we're speaking. <laughs> okay, I want you to try this. You, you, you was a bit skeptical about the aubergine, yeah? Yes. Is that aubergine? Yes, yes. I'm assuming you don't like aubergine. Mm. All right, all right. What are you talking about? Yeah. I think that's quite interesting what you said. Yeah. Sometimes we don't like something yes. because it may be prepared in a, in yes. a one type of culture. Mm. Another culture might use different ingredients. I'm not a really fan of aubergine, but that's nice. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okra please, try okra. Mm. Okra, I must say I'm not a fan of. Okay. So, um, let's see. I would say add a bit of rice to that. Isn't that going to be unfair? Okay, yeah, go on. No, have the juice as well. The juice, the juice. Mm. <laughs> this guy, his face is like, he's, like, he's going to say no. And then he goes, mm. <laughs> I didn't expect to like it at all. Really? That's yeah, interesting. I mean, lady fingers and aubergine in the Asian culture, kids don't tend to like it. And I'm okay. one of those kids. No problem. So now, all the best in the future. Yeah. Let's get on with the food. And we're going to give the reviews later. Okay, brothers and sisters, so we had the food. As you know, Zishan is the main guy when it comes to dining to Jannah uh, because you know his experience and his facial expressions are priceless uh, when you say experience uh, I, I disagree with that shut up your mouth I, I think your experience is much more no no your facial expressions are your experience listen and my facial expressions in, in another words I'm trying to say you're the mug this is the review let's start off with the service how was the service uh, I don't think we should be. <laughs> huh? I don't think we should be answering that when. Uh, no, no, we should. Right <laughs> no, no, be I'm being attacked by the yeah. service. <laughs> how was this? How was the service? Uh, three. Really? Two and a half. Three. Okay, I can I can do three. Do you want me to do three? I mean, it wasn't bad. Okay, free stuff. It wasn't that great. Either. Yeah, true. Free yeah. stuff. Free stuff. That's for service. Uh, how was time? So um, we didn't order any starters. But what was the time? Okay, it was uh, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Well, I think what's unique about this restaurant is the fact that they bring you complimentary stuff, and that in itself yeah. can keep you going for like good six, seven minutes. Yeah, exactly. So time for 15 minutes. I would say um, I, I would say free star, man, because it wasn't busy at all as well. Let's bear that in mind. 15 minutes. Yeah, 15 minutes is very reasonable for a restaurant, but if it's not busy, if it was busy and they gave that, I would say four star straight. Because it wasn't busy at all, I'm, I'm definitely going with three star. Three and three quarters. Three and a half star. Three, three and three quarters. How was the portions? Portions were... Yeah, they're, 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 quite, they're quite like above average. I would say three star, bro. Proportion. Three and a half. Because portions were good, they were decent. Bearing those mind, yeah, okay, three and a half, yeah. that's fine, portion. Okay, how was the food? I, I thought the, the food was, it was very good, like, how the experience good quality, food? Good quality meat. meat, good quality yeah. ingredients being used. Yeah. A good kind of atmosphere. Yep. I think it's a nice experience. It's fresh. You can bring your wife fresh. there. How was the price? So my tashrib was 13 pounds, that's a lamb shank with bread and stew. Your one was a lamb cozy, neck 13 pounds. Um, the wings were, chicken wings were... Oh my gosh, chicken wings were meant to have you oh, done that? Oh yeah, bro, they were 11 pounds. Oh my pounds. gosh, guys, if you come here, you have to order them. Bro, 100%. They were totally unique. <laughs> Three and a half star for the price. Okay, I want to now moving on to 
Jannah points. Time for the Jannah po- uh, points. Do they play music? Yes. Is that a Jannah point? No. Is it Jahannam point? Billah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do they serve alcohol? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. No, they don't. No. That's a Jannah point. <laughs> Do they? Is the menu fully halal? Mm-hmm. That's a Jannah point. That was a Jahannam singing. <laughs> okay. Do they have a prayer room? No. no. Do they have segregation for sisters? No. Till next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.